So uh, I'm Arvind Naitra Kashyap, I'm uh, co-founder and CTO of Rubrik, and today I'm going to talk about the big announcement. So uh, our long-term vision has always been to be the data management platform for the enterprise. The first step we took was we allowed you to protect your virtualized infrastructure, use backup, uh, policy-driven uh, backup, as well as archive, replication, so on. Uh, so today, Rubrik goes physical. Um, we, I want to I show you a demo, hot of the dev lab, of how you can protect physical SQL Server databases um, using the Rubrik platform. So this is the, the interface that we all know and love. Uh, Chris, Chris just presented that. So we have a Rubrik connector service running on all the physical hosts uh, that you want to protect. And so now we are actually able to provide, provide a list of databases that have been protected and those that, are unprotect that have not yet been protected. Um, it follows pretty much the same workflow that you're familiar with in terms of virtual machines. Um, you go yeah, to just to just to kind of add a little more color to this. So all the policy driven paradigms, search, archive, replication, is all applicable to the virtual environment that we are going to uh, physical environment that we are going to support. So so this whole API driven search enabled policy enabled platform now extends to the physical infrastructure. So everything that Chris demoed for, for virtual machines in terms of search-based recovery, instant recovery, all of them apply to, to physical databases. Protecting a database is as simple. Um, you take an unprotected database, assign it an SLA policy. It looks exactly like what you did for, for virtual machines. We have a few additional database properties that lets you do um, log backups at the frequency that you want to specify and the retention you want. And once you do that, uh, we will be able to do point-in-time recovery to any point uh, in, in the database history. And now, recovering similarly is very simple. You go to the, you go to the database page, you, go look at, you look at the backups, and now we can, what we have here is a, you can pick any point in time. So you might be taking a backup, your SLA policy might say take a backup of the database every, every day at midnight. But then you want to be able to recover to maybe 2.15 p.m. on that particular day. So you can basically go and say, so like 14 hours, 15. So this is the point in time that you want to recover to. And then you go and say, restore this to, uh, restore and recover this to. So essentially, again, using using connector service, which essentially is just a service that talks to the cluster through the same APIs that uh, that we have. And uh, and that will actually, and we will, we will push the data to the host as well. and and create a database that points to the recovered uh, backup, and then we'll apply the logs to get to the point in time that you want to recover to. So I'm going to ask the obvious question. Is there an agent? <laughs> so, so, we have, so what we have is a, is a service running on the, on, on the Rubrik appliance. It does a few things. One, it lets you, on the, on the host, on the Windows host. One, it lets you auto-detect all the, all the uh, hosts that need to be protected and detect all the databases so that you can pick and choose which database to protect. Um, it lets you, when you recover, it'll let you, it'll, it'll, it'll have all the right permissions to create the database or perform the database operations okay. so that you can recover it to the point in time. See. And it will also do uh, deduplication of data so that you're reducing the amount of data that you're, that you're copying over. The Rubrik's uh, building philosophy is API-driven extendability. So this, a rubric connector service that runs on physical Windows host for database backup, it actually talks to rubric through APIs. Okay. So over time, we are going to expose those APIs for third party to go build for custom apps, for apps that are not like massively publicly in use, to write to rubric and get the advantage of policy-driven so engine. Based or exactly. yeah. Policy-driven engine, yeah. data acquisition, uh, Intelligent data acquisition, search, and everything else. Okay. Or PowerShell or something like that. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. 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 I saw him start <laughs> grinning over there. And, and that's a great segue into my question. So when yeah. the it's making the calls to engage the full backups, you're actually engaging full backups, correct? You're not doing snapshots of the MDFs or anything. That's correct. So we have a. Uh, this is an area that uh, we would like to not. Uh, disclose everything because we have okay. Okay. IP issues. We are actually filing patents, but uh, suffice to say that we would be one of the first or probably the only platform that allows you to do instant recovery point in time. Okay. So we have we have built some very cool 
stuff uh, in, in this platform. Because again, rubric philosophy is to reduce the RTO to very small number. Uh, in, in the VM case, between 30 to 50 seconds is a similar philosophy that we are bringing to the physical world. Okay. But as you can see, the, 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 the whole design and implementation is simplicity, ease of use, and really taking the experience to the next level. Uh, if you look at this clock, the whole idea was, now you can restore to any point in time. Just pick your time, tell the system to go restore it, and, and activate it, and it'll do it for you. I mean, we wanted recovering databases to be as simple as recovering a right. VM. And obviously, you're starting with databases initially. And, and this, is, this is the first step towards yeah. all the other physical sources that we will support. As we say, 2016 is the year of physical for us. <laughs> So this is just SQL Server databases. That's the That's starting, right. starting, yeah, point. starting point, which is a good place to start. Yeah. yeah, and when you say so, when you say physical, it's not <laughs> physical like running on like a server with Microsoft Windows running SQL Server. It's SQL Server running on a VM or that. Or so if SQL Google Server works. runs inside a VM, we support it today. This is the SQL Server not running inside a virtual machine, but running directly on Windows host. Okay, so a question then about the stuff that's inside a VM. So with the existing stuff before this, was I able to go in and, and use Rubrik to restore a particular table within SQL Server? Or do I have to restore the whole VM? So, you have the, so currently you have the ability to, to mount uh, any backup of SQL Server, and then that will bring up a VM running the copy of SQL Server, and then you, you can use any tool to access, access the data. Yes, yeah, so what? I bring the VM back <laughs> yeah. and do whatever yeah. I like. What, what this I can't go into the object and say, because there was So we actually support Twitter. objects too. So we have a partnership with Kroll, where uh, Kroll can unparse the database tables for you, okay. and then you can go and pick objects inside the, inside the database. Not just, you don't have to do the full database restores. So you, okay, so you can do that. Yes. Yeah. Like, what about other database okay. types like Exchange to go yeah, and pull it, out a it, thing? It can like, do yeah. data uh, sequels, uh, SharePoint, uh, SQL Server, Exchange Server, all of it. That's, and I can do that from the Rubrik interface? So, as I said, we have a partnership with a company called Kroll, and we bundle it with Rubrik. Okay. So, out of box, you get that. So, where does the Kroll interface run? So, wh what do I go and look at to, make, to get that? We can, send you, we can send you a white paper we have on this okay. topic. Mm -hmm. 